I don't see myself or my experiences as unique, um, unfortunately. <laughs> a lot of us have more than one story to share. And just to, you know, really think about what everyone carries and juggles just on a daily basis. Um, you'd be surprised the stuff people have gone through and how resilient we all are. My name is Rosie Sunshine Galvan. My family is from the Dominican Republic. I'm from the pre-gentrified Lower East Side of Manhattan. Uh, the name of the series is called Ancestral Vessels of Feminist Resistance um, because they explore that dichotomy of both breaking toxic generational cycles while tapping into generational strength. So sort of like that juxtaposition of like channeling what has been in your lineage powerful and allows you to survive now while growing and evolving and leaving things behind that no longer serve us. I started painting when I was about 20. I was in college. I went to Columbia for undergrad and um, one of the dorms I lived in, the maintenance guy um, was super nice. And after every um, semester or year, you know, a lot of kids I went to school had a lot of money. So they would throw everything away, like microwaves, books, lamps, like everything. He had like a whole basement full of rooms of random things. So like, like, oh, this corner is all microwaves or this corner is all lamps. And, he took me down to look at stuff and I saw a basket with old paints and an old canvas that had like something painted on it already. And I was like, can I have this? So he gave me that and a couple of paintbrushes and I just, you know, made like this little abstract. I started doing shapes, but I started drawing these figures along that time. So I drew my first one and it was sort of like my way of processing at that point, everything that I'd been through. Like to me, the ideas come out of nowhere. So I think it's just tapping into this channel of divine creativity that's beyond me. That is the healing process. I'm a survivor of child sexual abuse, sexual assault. Um, domestic violence and also you know family violence so whenever I do mention it to somebody it's unfortunately not uncommon so part of this is to be as bright as possible about really shining light into that darkness of silence that we carry so for me, I guess it's not necessarily that each one is a particular person, but it's a collective expression of all the stories I've heard um, to give a visual impact of what an epidemic it really is. So I hope to also not just speak to survivors, but also people who haven't just harmed. I'm interested more in talking to and reaching people who are actively recovering from harming. I feel them showing up with me, you know, like to have them all together in this way is so fierce, you know, like we're here, we're vibrant, 
our pain is actually beautiful and you can't keep this quiet anymore. Um, so it's gonna be weird to just have like white walls again and you know, but I, my goal is for survivors and people um, who are healing from harming can look at them and re be reminded of all of their strength. Mm -hmm.